Hey guys, I need to give a shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. If you're unaware of what SeatGeek is, it is an app that lets you buy tickets to concerts, to sporting events, to any sort of major thing that you want to get a ticket to. And what it does is it shows you a map of the tickets listed across all different websites, and it shows you which deal is a good deal and which deal is a bad deal, so you know if you're getting ripped off. So if you download the app and you want to go and use it to buy tickets, make sure you use my code COOGS at checkout and you will save $20 off your first order. Thanks, Sea Geek. Okay, so we can finally use him. 94 overall, Travis Hafner, signature series, first baseman from the Cleveland Indians, big time lefty power bat, 105 contact and 106 power against righties, 86, 87 against lefties, with 90 vision, 116 discipline. The fielding sucks, but hey, we all know how first base kind of plays this year. When you get like a big body first baseman, that fielding stat really doesn't seem to matter. Josh Bell, Frank Thomas, they all field pretty well. So really, I'm not even concerned about the fielding at all. Uh, 36 speed, it is what it is. He played a lot of his career at DH too. So he was kind of the first base DH, big time power bat type of guy. So the fielding and speed ratings make sense. The big time power makes sense as well. And I'm excited to use him and see what he can do. So obviously, of course, I've got him over here at first base. I'm not playing him anywhere other than first base. Uh, for the most part, the team looks pretty much the same. I am giving Justin Upton another go out in right field. I haven't sold him yet. Don't know why. I just kind of want to use him again. Maybe this time not on uh, legend difficulty. But the team, other than that, Gwyn, Mays in the outfield, Tim Kugler, Roberto Alomar in the middle infield, uh, Wade Boggs at third, Pudge behind the dish. Um, in the starting rotation, we did throw this 88 overall Rick and Keel. Hopefully we land on him. Maybe at some point we'll get him. I don't know, but I would like to see that card in action. And just in case you might be confused on how to get the Travis Hafner card, go ahead and go over to your collections, go to events, go to the all-star event, and basically you just need to collect six of these vouchers in order to get the Travis Hafner. So if you weren't doing the split squad one event, you're going to have to make sure to do some of the split squad two. Otherwise, if you just do the moonshot, you won't be able to get Travis Hafner. You need at least six of the vouchers. And if you actually go over to the event itself, uh, you can see how many wins you might need if we go to event rewards right here. Uh, in order to get two vouchers, you need five cumulative wins in the event. They're only three in a game, so it's not that hard. I actually went ahead and I just bought him on the market because I haven't had time to play the event yet. So I just figured he's only going for about like 10 to 12K. It's not that big of a deal. I'll just buy him, sell him back, and then when I get him back on the event, maybe I'll sell him again and just make even more profit. So that's what we're looking for, guys. Ranked seasons, Travis Hafner debut. Let's go. All right. We're taking on Los Angeles. Who does he have on the squad? Who are we facing? Oral Hershiser and we got Rick Ankiel. Let's go. A little double debut action. Travis Hafner and Rick Ankiel. Let's go, man. Got Tony Gwynn up first. Lefty, lefty. Let's go, man. I'm really excited about this. I have no idea how this Rick Ankiel is going to pitch. He could be trash. His per nines don't look that bad. His home runs per nine are a little bit low. His walks per nine and control are a little bit low. But, hey, man, the hits and Ks look really nice. He's got nice pitches. And he's got a little bit of a bat on him, too. So I'm kind of excited about this. What's nice about this, too, is that this is the first game I've attempted to play with him in the rotation. And, like... I thought I was going to have to like play another content creator or something to do that, but no, we're knocking out two birds with one stone, Rick Ankiel and Travis Hafner. That's a really good swing from Cal Ripken Jr. Looks like Willie. I almost missed that. I took a horrible route. Oh, George Brett just crushed that. Come on, Upton, put the glove up. Let's go. Justin Upton tracks it down. Three outs. Each outfielder got one. All right, Roberto Almar put a good swing on it. You know, it's not a terrible pitch to swing at. But now we've got this Travis Hafner coming up. We do have a right-handed pitcher on the mound, which is good for us. Over 100 on both the contact and the power. I'll take first pitch, see what we get right here. Get a cutter, low and inside. All right, so we're behind, but that's okay. Just got to track the pitch. Ooh, another good cutter. That one ran in on my hands a little bit. All right, we're down to two strikes right off the rip. Nope, that's going to be low. Good take. Nice job, Hafner. He's got good discipline, too, so I should be able to get some check swings if I need him to. Oh, I thought that was a curveball. That sinker moved really weird. All right, well, we're still at 1-2. Oh, 
that was almost a home run if it was just fair. It would have been a home run if it was fair. So we can already kind of get an idea of the power that Hafner brings to the table against righties just with that. Nope, that's going to be another low pitch. Good at bat so far. Making him work for it. We're putting some good swings on it. Good pitch. We had to be early on it. Change up low and inside. This is actually a really good at bat from Hafner. Another one. Dude, the power on this card is ridiculous. We just got to keep it straight. This is crazy. 105 off the bat. Where's he going to go? Oh, he went the other way with the sinker. That's a great pitch. That's a good pitch. Hey, man, I'm not even mad about that. Travis Hafner put some good swings on the ball. Just got to, you know, just got to hit it fair. It's a good swing from Willie Mace. Luckily, Tony Gwynn's there. Frank Thomas laid on the fastball. That's good. Easy play for Justin Upton. Two down. Oh. Damn, he stayed with that. I thought I threw that curveball pretty well, too. He was going to get on the outside of, uh, part of the plate. It's all good. Two out base hit. Shouldn't matter that much. Come on, Upton. Catch it over your shoulder. Atta boy. He got not the best read, but we got the out. Only allowed one hit. Nice. Rogers Hornsby quieting that bat. So far, Rick Ankiel is pitching pretty well. It's really going to be a test on the second time through the order once he's had a go with everybody and kind of seen the uh, the speeds. He can kind of adjust a little bit. So, you know, the first time through the order is not really the biggest deal for me. And I just left him right over the middle and pitchers rake this year. I was spot I'm trying to go high and away and went right over the middle. Dude, that's a great pitch. And he kept it fair. Wow. I'm actually shook. That was a really good pitch. That was just a better swing. I can't be mad about that. Nice. Right to him. All right. Two down. Oh. I thought he wasn't going to be ready for a fastball. He got the fastball he wanted, I guess. I thought he was going to uh, be sitting breaking pitch on the first pitch of the AB, man. George Brett, the new 99 overall, hits a three-run shot. This should end the inning. All right, man. Got to give credit to my opponent. That dude put some good swings on the ball that inning. All right, well, we've got two outs. Rick and Keel coming up, still scoreless. So we got to try to do something. Oh, my God, that was there. In case you guys haven't seen Rick and Keel's hitting stats... Um, these are what they look like 77 84 against righties with 58 vision So this is actually a pretty good spot for us right here. Come on, dude. Rick and Keel. What do you got for me, buddy? Not a bad swing once again oral Hershiser is tough to hit man his pitches move a lot You got to really track it. We're down 0-2 already There we go Rick and Keel getting the first real hit of the game for us. Let's go that ball is going to be an easy double, and now Tony Gwynn gets a step up with two outs. Tony Gwynn, come on! Nope, that is not going to get down. God dang it, that inside cutter, I keep getting like tied up on it and jammed. Bro, I can't get a borderline call, man. Every time I hit something on the corner, it's just a tiny bit off. It's getting a little bit frustrating, and that's a home run. Ah, dude, that could have been... Oh, that one sucks, man. I'm not even going to say anything. That one just sucks because I had so many borderline pitches at bat. Good hit. Good hit from Pudge. Get it into second, Willie. Don't let him turn two on it. All right, cool. Once again, I can't get any borderline pitches to be strikes. Oh, my God. It's so frustrating, dude, because I'm, like, hitting the spot perfectly. It's just, like, a pixel off of the strike zone. Oh my god. Come on, Upton. Come on, Upton. You gotta catch this. Atta boy, Upton. Way to make a play. Oh my god, that was tough. And Oral Hershiser's two for two. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> well, I mean, like, I'd like to be upset, but I guess... Travis Hafner's fielding stat actually mattered there. All right, five to nothing. Good hit, Roberto Alomar. All right, we got our leadoff guy on, setting the table for, uh, no, that, never mind, he's our two-hitter. 
Travis Hafner is now our three hitter. All right, Hafner, make up for that error, dude. That was a terrible play at first base. We need to see some power out of this bat because that one was very, very frustrating. Come on. And nope, we're popping up. There we go. That one's crushed. That one's not coming back. All right, we got two runs. Willie Mays steps up, hits a home run over the 390 sign. We're now on the board. It's a three-run game. Great job, Willie. All right. I hit my spot perfectly. <laughs> It's a good hit, man. Frank Thomas is a tough out. Second and third now with, I believe, only one out. I think it's it's time, man. We got to get the bullpen going. Rick Ankeel, dude, just not quite getting it done for me. You know, he's, he's made some good pitches, got some tough breaks, but at the end of the day, he's not, uh, not getting the outs when we need him to. There we go. All right, let's test this Justin Upton arm strength. I think he's going to run right here. 69 speed. Upton's got a pretty decent arm. Come on, come on, come on, and nope. Sack fly for uh, Duke Snyder. All right, Rick Ankeel, second at bat, hit a double into the right center field gap in his first A-B. Looking for something big. Need him to kind of help himself out right here. He might not last too much longer on the mound, but I got to try to use his bat while he's in here just because I won't know how much longer I'll have him. Okay, we'll take that. There we go. One, two, count. Oral Hershiser just make some good pitches. That is going to be low and away. That was a tough take, dude. I couldn't tell at first if that was going to be a strike, but I just held up. I had to swing at that, and it should be through there. Through the shift. So Rick Ankeel may have given up six runs so far, but he's two for two. Got a boy, Hafner. He actually made a play. Look at Travis Hafner. He got down there. Had a boy. And now he steps up to the plate for his third AB. He's over two. He's shown the power a little bit. But none of them were fair. He's hit two foul ball home runs this game. So I'm looking for him to try to hit a tank right here or something. Because he's he's been quiet. Like, yeah, like it's you know, like I said, we've seen the power, but he's still 0 for 2. So it doesn't really matter. Sinker low and away. Great take right there. I really want that inside pitch. I really want to crush this thing to right field. Ah, oh, there it is. But I'm just early on it. I can't keep it straight. 106 miles per hour off the bat. Good pitch, good sinker. Went high and away with it. That was a really good pitch. Luckily, we fought it off. 2-2. Two -two. Inside, 3-2. I'll take a walk. I'll, you know, I'm not even going to be mad at a walk right here. I'll set up a base runner for Willie Mays, but I would really like to see the power. 3-2, full count. Nice. The other way, that's probably at least going to be a double. Home run. Travis Hafner goes yard in his first game on the squad. Let's go. There's the 106, 105 power against righties. That's what we're looking for. Top of the ninth, we got Tony Gwynn to lead it off. Um, then a righty and then a lefty. I don't even know who he has coming up. I'm just frustrated because I can't get anything going at the plate, man. Like, I've had pitches to do some damage with, and I'm just missing. Like, at the end of the day, I'm just not hitting well enough. He has brought in pitchers that I'm notoriously bad against, like Zach Britton and Oral Hershiser, but still, like, you know, he's made mistakes, and I just haven't been able to take advantage of everything. Bottom of the ninth, we got eight, nine, and one coming up against Rich Gossage. Oh, man, this should be, uh, this should be fun right here. Come on, let's start a little rally. Oh, that's heartbreaking. I was all over that. Ah, there's nothing more you can do, man. That's just a line out. Squared it up. Hit the ball right to him. Did what I could. It resulted in an out, though. What more can you do? All right, so he brought in um, a lefty. He brought in Billy Wagner. Do I go to... I think I got to go to Bautista, right? 108, 86, 102, 108. I need base runners more than a home run right now, so I'm going to go to Ricky and see if I can get on base with him. Ooh, right up the middle. Attaboy, Tony. Keep the inning alive. Keep the game alive. And that should do it. All right. Well, you know, at the end of the day, it just came down to I couldn't hit the ball this game. My opponent 
Uh, you know, he got some really, really good swings on the ball when he needed to. I actually out hit him. I got more hits than him, but, you know, he got that three run home run with George Brett. He got the home run with Frank Thomas. It's a tough game, dude. Rick Ankeel allowed 10 hits and six earned runs through six innings. So, really, not the best debut for him. He was really fun to use, though. I like his windup. I like, you know, his pitches. And, you know, there were certain times where I just, you know, got a little bit unlucky with, you know, pitches being right on the corner, but just like a pixel on the game from being a strike, you know, just kept it at a ball, got behind in counts, and then he was able to crush the pitches. So, I mean, what more can you say? Travis Hafner, though, did hit a home run the other way. He was responsible for one of the three runs. Willie Mays did hit the other home run. At the end of the day, man, you know, Travis Hafner, he allowed a run off that error. The defense kind of cost us. He gave us a run back with the home run. Rick Ankeel had, you know, a little shaky game, but this opponent was really good. Props to this guy for being able to hit the ball and take advantage of mistakes. Mistakes, gotta give it to him, man. Anyway, guys, down in the comments, let me know what you think of both uh, Travis Hafner and Rick Ankeel. If you guys are looking to get either one of these cards, let me know down in the comments why. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.